Good morning everyone, welcome back to another Property Couple video. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Leah, this is AK, he's currently driving. Just keeping my eyes on the road. Yeah, no worries. And we are off to see our latest project. So if you're a long time follower here, you'll know that it looks very similar to the properties that we've bought and refurbished before. This one, we are planning to do it in a completely different way. And we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about that today. Um, and we're really excited because we're working with a, a different project manager. So it's very different to what we're used to. Nothing like throwing yourself in the deep end. Yeah, this one's a little bit more um, experimental. We're gonna see if the changes in this one affect um, the price of the rooms, the done up value of the house um, and things like that. So we'll take you along the ride. You might have seen someone wriggling around in the back. That's actually my dad who doesn't want to be on camera, but he is coming to have a look at the progress on our latest house as well. Big shout out to dad as well for filming lots of the content in this video. He has now become the resident videographer at Property Couple Group. If you can just sort of ignore the loud breathing behind the camera, He's a fantastic cameraman. Yeah, that's why Dad's here, in case you spotted him. There's a sign that says beware of the dog. Because you've got to enter at your own risk. Yeah, obviously we don't have a dog anymore. Just be careful because like, we they're should actually taking it back to Brick, so. Hello, mate. Hiya. You are right? The last time you saw this property was when we were walking around with our builder, talking about the plans, that there was a family living here that were moving out and they'd pretty much outgrown the property. Yeah, obviously we're in the UK right now. It's been really, really cold weather. So it, everything did freeze up overnight. I looked at the skip when I was walking in and all of the bits in the skip have frozen. Yeah, so, uh, quite a little eyelash there. Thank you. Sometimes we get sort of, not told off by our followers, but we sometimes get a bit of a slap on the wrist for not um, selling or utilizing some of the stuff that we find in properties. Yeah. And uh, over here we've managed to inherit a, uh, a newspaper stand. I really know how this came to I be in our can. house, but here it is. So it it's amazing be... what you find, isn't it? Yeah. A little, look, there's a little Christmas ball ball here. Oh my gosh. A little Christmas ball ball. Yeah. You find some stuff, you know. This one, you know, is now we're coming into Christmas time. It's often going to get slower. People usually get ill. People go on Christmas holidays. So I think it's going to take a good probably three months before this one's anywhere near. Definitely finished, year, um, yeah. yeah. But um, that's fine for us because you know we don't really want to be having to find tenants to move in around Christmas because everyone's so busy. So as long as um, the working hours aren't too short with it getting dark at like 4 p.m., we should be able to like press yeah. on and make a good time of this one. Yeah, I'm just excited for this project because it's just going to be a different layout. It's, the rooms are going to be slightly bigger. Yes. It's going to be a slightly tweaked layout and this is just going to be an interesting new like thing for us to try. Yeah, some of the rooms like are a good size in our other properties, but um, with the new style that we're going to go for with this one, which we'll show you either in another video, like proper floor plans, um, we're going to be getting just more space and everyone wants more space and in the uk mm. we, we do struggle for space we don't have as much space as <laughs> <laughs> sorry my dad was telling me that i can't see you there. in the uk we don't get much space in general so um any extra inches on the rooms goes a long way okay just coming in see it looks totally different to what it did last time i should probably be wearing a little helmet or something i'm gonna get it for next time God, this looks so different. The last time Atch was here, he actually caught fleas from the property. To be fair, there's no fleas left now. No, he oh, caught fleas fleet. from like the carpet. If there's any fleas now left, I'll bloody hell, I'll be scared of them. Yeah, moving down here, you remember this was the kitchen and this was the downstairs, um, downstairs bathroom. Well, the only bathroom, which- I have to take it all back to brick. Unlike our other houses, if you've been following what we've been doing with HMO, uh, with our HMOs, is that we often have a big communal space in the middle. Sorry, I thought I saw another flea. Like, no. I know, I saw something and I was like, please not. There is no, no fleas, fleas left in, in this place. <laughs> um, 
So usually we'd have a big communal space in the middle, but um, we've realised that actually the communal spaces are not actually that great when you don't know everybody you live with. So we're going for a bit of a different layout on this property. Uh, we're actually going to be making the bedrooms a bit bigger. And there's some other changes as well. We're going to be having slightly bigger en suites in every bedroom. So, I'm really excited to actually see how, this, how it goes. Yeah, it's going to be really different. So yeah, that's, that's basically the hammer. biggest change. Pick up your hammer. Oh, that's actually, yeah, I'll go to the gym, so that's easy. <laughs> Thank you, I'll be really careful. So this is the biggest room of the property. Um, as you can see, wallpaper's come down. We're going totally back to brick on this. Nice. Just be really careful not putting your feet through there. I know. Because, uh, yeah, I don't, to, I don't want you to fall through. Imagine. I friends. love this part of it, though just like strips it back, it's just so nice. And the fact that there's no fleas in there. Let's have a little look in here and then we'll move through to the next room. So the thing with these properties is that um, the attics are actually quite big. Yeah. And um, we met a couple who, um, who do five bed HMOs and one of their strategies is going completely back to brick, the whole house, like all the walls, back to the four walls and they build up into their attic mm. and they do cool like, a, was it one or two bedrooms they put in? One, one big yeah, one. Yeah. One big bedroom with skylights. Obviously they spend way more on their refurbs than what we do. But um, I really liked their, how they utilise space because the attics are quite big here and it's just dead space above us. Yeah. So um, I think that's definitely something we'd like to think about in the future. But at the moment with us doing four bed HMOs, it's quite good because we, we don't have to have a licence. So the moment you go into five bed HMOs, you do have to get a license. So that's more cost per year. It's also more inspections on the regular from the council and things like that. It's a good way for us to start getting into it. Cause I, I felt quite overwhelmed in terms of getting over, starting with an HMO, didn't you? Yeah. But like now it's a bit different, but I think then once getting into five, six, seven bed rooms, it becomes a little bit more complex, but I'm really glad we started with just four. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Down you here. I'd uh, like to follow me through to the uh, next <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, I'd be really careful here. My dad's just taking videos. <laughs> be careful with that hole there. Don't go in, and in the toilet. <laughs> and in the toilet. <laughs> Oh my, it, I, I imagine myself like falling through that hole and then being a little Christmas tree but through a hole. Yeah, that's the escape yeah. wow. This is massive now. Yeah. So I think there's going to be two bedrooms up here. You're going to have one in the, one in the front there. Yeah. There's going to be um, a second one here. Usually in our properties, we have three up here on the top, three bedrooms on the top floor. So I'm really interested to see how how big we can get the bedrooms. This one's going to be massive up here. Yeah. back here I actually do a bit more come looking back. around. Come back in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Definitely need our helmets. Definitely need to get some light helmets. Property couple. And some um, high boots. Oh, our property couple merch. Well, I say merch, basically merch that me and you wear. <laughs> and then maybe my dad as well. We'll see you, we'll see you next time. See you next time. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, please subscribe to our channel. We post videos every single week. And we're also on Instagram <laughs> at property couple UK. But just remember to hit that subscribe button. And click the subscribe. subscribe and click the notification bell to be the first person to watch our videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye everyone.